Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do this to your MacBook screensaver with any video that you want. Here I have a scene from Tangled and I'm obsessed. Let's get into it. Hey everyone and welcome to it. I'm Julia. If you've never met me before, welcome to my channel. I do lots of tech and lifestyle videos, so if you are into that, make sure you subscribe and follow along. Now, I've been seeing this trend everywhere on TikTok and I became obsessed. So, I changed my screensaver to be a moving video and I actually have like three or four other options that I like to change it between, so I will go through those in a second in the tutorial. Now, there definitely are some caveats to this whole process. It's not perfect. I've already had a lot of issues, but it's definitely worth it for just a fun little party trick. <laughs> First up, to get started, you need to have your MacBook updated to the latest Mac OS Sonoma. If your Mac is too old and can't run the new update of Sonoma, you will not be able to do this. You have to have Mac OS Sonoma. So you go to your settings, and then you'll click General and go to Software Update. And here is where you will see it if you need to update. And as you can see, I'm running Mac OS Sonoma 14.5 and it says my Mac is up to date. So I'm good to go there. Okay, now you need to find whatever video clip it is that you want to set as your background. So I have so many fun ideas. So definitely comment if you guys have any other fun ideas, comment those below, I'd love to hear them. So you can do a video that you already have. Like I did a part of our wedding video that we paid thousands of dollars for. So I was like, I need to get any use out of it as I can. But right now I'm going to show you how to basically use any video that you might want to. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of the tutorial on a screen recording, but since I'm going to be screen recording for the video, I can't screen record to screen record, so I'm going to do it with the camera for now. Trust me though, it'll get closer for you to be able to see. Okay, so there are plenty of ways for you to download a video off the internet, obviously. You could look up like free YouTube video downloader on the internet somewhere, but those always have so many ads that you can accidentally click on and accidentally get to like a scam or a virus. So I just wanted to play it safe and do a screen recording instead. So I'll show you how to do that. Going to go down to your keyboard and click Command, Shift, and Five. Then that's going to open up this little menu down here. Here is our nice little menu. videos we are going to go into our system settings again and what you need to go down to is screensaver okay now that we're here the very first step that you have to do is you need to download some of these wallpapers so you basically just download it by clicking on it and you see right here is the little loading bar that needs to complete so that you have it loaded onto your computer Nothing is going to work if you don't do this, so you need to do this step first. And if you have multiple that you're going to do, obviously you can click multiple, but make sure that you know whichever little one that you choose. So look, there's plenty. You need to be okay with losing that one forever, unless you want to save a copy of it somewhere to access later, but just know that we're going to be deleting that file, so don't pick one that you're super attached to. Um, so I am doing the California's Tumblr range. And obviously, if you're like me and you did multiple, you need to, so we have two screen recordings we're going to do, so we need to have two little thingies downloaded. Okay, it's downloaded, but now I'm going to just click off onto a different screensaver that's not the one that we just downloaded, but you need to remember which one you downloaded and try and remember what the picture looked like. So I did that one. It's very similar to that one, so maybe I shouldn't have done one that <laughs> looks so similar to another one, but I'll figure it out. All right, so now we're gonna close on out of this and we're going to go and open up our screen recording. So hmm, let's see how it ended up. Okay, I got a little more than I wanted to. So I'm going to see if we can trim this up. So I am going to right click on it and then go down to quick actions and then trim right here. And I'm just gonna use my dr this little drag here and cut it off right there. Perfect, we'll click done and I'm just going to replace the clip with that. So here's where it'll start. Okay, now that it's trimmed, we are ready to do this. So it seems very daunting, but I promise it's not that hard. I have done it three times now, and now it's just muscle memory. So we're going to go up to your top and click go. Then you will click computer. I'm gonna go a little slow here so you can hopefully follow along. So again, that's go and then computer. Here you have this. We're going to click Macintosh HD. 
Then from there, we're going to click library. Okay. You have all these folders, but we are just gonna go to this one right here, application support. Okay, now, you need to open this up a little bit because the one we need out of all these is this one. Com.apple idle assets D. That one. <laughs> okay? Make sure it's that folder. Com.apple idle assets D. Well, I don't know what it means, but we're opening that one. Then from there, we will click customer. <laughs> Keep holding on. We're almost done. <laughs> we're almost there, I guess, where we need to be. Then we're going to this one. 4K SDR 240 FPS, that one. This folder, longest title. Oh, there you can see some of my videos already. Okay, so here we have the things that I downloaded. So if you have all of the different options downloaded to your screen, yours is gonna be much bigger, but I only downloaded two to my thing, so that's these two. These are the screens that I already have, which I'll show you in a minute. So, as I said, I have the California Redwood. So, or whatever the heck it was, I don't know. And then I downloaded another one because I have two clips. I have the Taylor Swift and then I have the Barbie movie. <laughs> okay, so we need to right click on the one that we chose, then go down to rename, and then command C on our keyboard to copy it. Then we're going to go to our little video that we did, our Taylor clip. We're also going to right click it and click rename. Then make sure you delete whatever text was there and then command V to rename it with that text that we just copied off the other file, okay? Then click off so it saves. Now what we're going to do is drag the Taylor clip over, drop it in, and then it's going to say, are you sure you want to remove that from, okay, whatever. Yep, we're going to move it, yes. Now we're asked, it already exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes, we want to replace it, okay? Replace. And then it's going to ask you to type in your password or do touch ID to be able to allow this. You're just gonna say yes, okay? Okay, now it's gone. It replaced it, okay? So now we should be able to exit. Now we're gonna go back to our system settings, go back to screensaver, and then we need to remember, okay, we replaced California's Tembler range, okay? Disregard this. I did a little too much poking around and learned how to replace a thumbnail, but it literally doesn't matter, so disregard, whatever. You're gonna click it. Okay. Now this is what I was talking about. It's really nice when you are trimming your video, if you trim it to a still image at the very beginning that you like, because this is the very beginning of the slideshow right here. That's very annoying caveat is that you can't have a home screen that you want. It has to be whatever still image it steals from the video. So what we're gonna do now to watch our creation is go up to the top right, click on the apple and click lock screen. Which I'm not sure if it's gonna kick me off my screen recording, so. <gasps> Yay! How fun! We did it! There she goes! And I like to just sit here and watch this forever. <laughs> but now that's how you do it. But isn't this awesome? <laughs> so as I mentioned at the beginning, it's kind of a little party trick that only works a few times. So for me, I it just goes to this black screen afterwards, which I mean, if you're fine with a black desktop, that's cool. Each video that I have saved does differently. So I will show you my wedding one that I had saved. When I choose that, it does a cute little frame from our wedding video. So I like to say, choose a video that you enjoy the background of because that might become your background. So. Watch this one, it's adorable, I'm obsessed. Oh, cute, how adorable. Oh, so cute, so cute. Yeah, classic. <laughs> um, so with this issue, so far I haven't figured out anything to solve it. People say that it takes some time for your MacBook to set in and adjust to the settings that you just re-flipped around and did. So like I read some comments that it even takes a couple days for this to fix and go away. So I don't know if that's true or not. I literally just did this for the first time yesterday. So that's currently my only help and advice on how to fix the black screen afterwards. But when that happens to me, 
What I do, troubleshooting here right now, is I just go to the settings and then click the screensaver and I just do a different one. And I just keep rotating between all my different ones. So it's going, it's going, it's going. Cute. Aw, it's so pretty. And no, there's no way to add audio to it. So we can't have them singing this song, obviously. Um, I know it's a question people ask all the time, but so far you cannot have audio on it. Ah. okay. See, that time is saved as my background. I don't know, I never know. So that's why I just like to have five on rotation and click through them. Um, so it's kind of a fun little thing. I'm not sure if it's worth actually keeping on your MacBook, but it is a fun little thing to do, especially like if you're a student and you want to show your friends something cool at school. I feel like it's really cool. <laughs> okay, one last thing I wanted to try out was creating our own little collage of videos. So I love Canva. We're just going, looking up desktop wallpaper collage. There's plenty of options, but I think I'm going to do this one right here. We're gonna customize this template. I'm going to fill this in with my own photos and videos really fast, so let me do that. Okay, I finished it. Here is a little preview of what it's gonna look like as a video. So I downloaded that off of Canva as a video. Since I put videos in it, it's 11 seconds long. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. It's gonna be so cute. Now we need to do our little process again. Okay, I just ran into a quick issue there. Why it didn't work is because it wasn't as a dot move. So I just literally just deleted dot mp4 and then typed in dot mov and now it's asking if I want to change it and I am going to approve this change. Okay, now let's see if it works. <laughs> it because now on the you know the home screen that you can't change it's just a blank wall which is kind of pretty so that one's a keeper for sure yeah basically whenever it runs into the issue of just the black screen or gray screen whatever I just click and open up my settings and just choose a different one and just keep rotating between all of them so that's my solution to the problem and if anybody has solved it let me know but that is about it please like this video and subscribe if this helped you out I do sorts of tech customizations all the time definitely check out my Mac but customization playlist if you haven't before. I just made a playlist ordering all of my different videos in one big playlist for you to be able to watch and just go crazy on your MacBook. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.